When has the church not been in crisis? When has there not been a threat to the Eucharist? When has there not been evil in the world? The church has been around for a very long time. It's withstood some clergy that are not as grounded as we'd like for them to be. Present company accepted. I've had moments when I've sinned and fallen short of the glory and I was not always in the place where I needed to be and I was not always the best teacher. But the answer to that is more of the Eucharist and more of the community and more conversation where I share and witness to my faith. And that's not just witnessing to all the joy and all the things that are really simple, but it's also talking about things when they get complicated. And there are a lot of things that are complicated in the world today. What's a good Catholic to do about the people that are holding on to wheels of airplanes taken off from Afghanistan? How do I preserve the dignity of that life? I'm at a church. I serve at a Paris in Anacostia. 141 people murdered in the District of Columbia from the first of the year until the 31st of July. I'm in a church that stands for the dignity of human life. What am I doing because of my faith, and my faith calls me to do that, what am I doing to stop that? What am I doing to make sure that there's not war in another place? All of those questions are real and legitimate questions that I'm called to answer because I'm a Catholic and I believe, and I'm called to act on my faith in the community. And if my faith doesn't transform my life, and somebody else's, then my faith is useless. So something different has to happen in the world because I believe and I need to keep receiving the Eucharist so that I'm anchored in my faith and that Jesus permeates my body and my spirit and that's what I radiate when I'm at my best when I go into the world.